so, okay, so as you can see, I have a new background. And look at my nice little pillows I've got here. Look at me being grown up. I know. I'm like properly adulting today. Okay, so today I have a new video video, obviously. And this is 10 things you didn't know about me. And I have a pen and I've written down the pad of paper because I'm just... I'm that organised guys, I'm just that organised. I've done one of these a while back which I think was 25 things about me, but these are 10 new things, completely different things, brand new things. Had a lot of new subscribers in the last few months so I decided I would introduce myself formally. If this is one of the first times you've watched one of my videos, my name is Alice, it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Hit the like button if you enjoy this and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I just make videos to cheer people up, just to put a smile on people's faces and that's it. There's no drama here, we don't do drama guys, I don't do drama my list ready I'm so organized such a good adult today yesterday I was eating Twixes and watching friends in bed in pajamas so that wasn't so much of a good adult day but this this is an adult day look at this look at me with my pen look at this number one is that when I drive my car if a ice cream man is um, trying to turn anywhere in front of me I will always let the ice cream man go if I am in control of a car and there's an ice cream man that wants to come in front of me or cut me up I will let them because ice cream men are the best people in the world. So I was rather a large child and the ice cream man and me were best buds. Uh, we still are, his name is Joe and he actually is the same ice cream man I had from when I was younger. Um, if I see him in his car, I will literally just like halt all traffic just to let Joe the ice cream man go. You should never be angry with an ice cream man guys because they are helping the community. So yeah, if you ever see me driving and I just stop for some reason, usually because I'm giving way to an ice cream man. Number two is, <laughs> I turn lights off with my nose if I've got stuff in my hands. So if I pick up like a bowl of food and a cup of tea, instead of turning the light off before I leave the room or going back to the room and turning the light off, I'll hold my stuff and turn it off with my nose. Uh, yeah, not just for smelling. This is a multi-purpose tool. Very short as well, so it's quite tricky sometimes because I gotta go on tiptoes and like headbutt the light. Um, but it's really helpful. And I don't turn the light off before I pick things up because I spill everything, I'm really clumsy. If I were to turn the light off, then pick up my things and leave the room, I would 100% trip, spill my food up the walls. It'd be carnage, so I just thought of this thing. Why don't we just use our noses? It's genius. Genius! I know what you're thinking. How is she not on some sort of genius list? <laughs> I don't think there's such a thing as a genius list. I think I literally just made that up. Number three is I hate brushing my hair. It gets knotty and it's really quite long now and brushing it just seems to be too much hassle. I haven't brushed it today. I just put in a lot of conditioner when I wash it and then I use leave-in conditioners too because that's sort of like you don't have to brush it because it's just so soft. <laughs> the only time I put my hair in a plait is if it's really really greasy and I'm just being lazy or if I'm going to do some sort of activity like if I go swimming I'll tie my hair back and then I have to brush it I just hate brushing my hair because you brush it and then it gets stuck and then you've got a brush stuck in your hair the amount of times I have got brushes stuck in my hair is stupid my hair is very knotty and oh I shouldn't have done that why did I try and prove that it was knotty by getting my hand stuck in it brushing my hair not at the top of my to-do list I don't really do much with my hair because I'm really bleeding lazy number four I hate sales in shops, okay? I love the idea of a discount. I love the idea of saving money, but when you get there, everyone is crazy, okay? When you're like looking through all the clothes on the clothing rack, and then some person just starts taking the ones you're looking at, and I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't realize this rail was taken. I'm not the sort of person to like pull it back and be like, hey, give me some space. I'm the sort of person to go, oh, you can you can have that rail, it's all good. I don't, I don't need new tops anyway, it's fine, I'll just, go home and wear the ones with mustard and ketchup all over them. Right. Number five is that I love vegetables, okay? This sounds really weird, but I honestly, I just adore veg. It's usually like my favorite part of the meal and you can have dips with them. Who doesn't like a good dip? I also love all other types of food, but vegetables, I just love them. I'm not a big fruity, I'll be honest with you. I like a banana every now and again, but it's not, it's not up there. It's just not up there. One of my best friends also loves veg and I love going to her house because there's like unlimited supplies of veg when we have meals. There's the veg! Number six is that I never wear one perfume at a time. I've got 10 bottles of perfume over there, right? Some are like sample sizes, some are the big old boys, um, but I never ever just spray one on and think that's enough. What I do is, some of them are really sweet, some of them are really musty, so I like mixing them up. So I always wear at least three perfumes at once. Not like too many sprays, I'm like a spritz of one, a spritz of another, and a spritz of another, and then someone says to me, oh my God, you smell really good, what are you wearing? I'm like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, three different ones. And they're like, why are you wearing three? Do you really smell that bad? And I'm like, maybe I do. One of them's too sweet, one's too musty, and one's like a florally scent. If you mix those together, 
you get perfection. You can literally make your own fragrance. So every morning, I'm like, what am I in the mood for? And then depending on how I'm feeling, I will mix and match. Number seven. I think it's number seven. Yeah, number seven is I am the clumsiest person you will ever meet. People never believe this for some reason. They're like, oh, you're probably not as clumsy as you think. Oh, I am. Ruin my shoes because I trip over so much. It's always when I'm trying to be careful that I trip. I don't know what it is. I've fallen up escalators, I've fallen downstairs, I've fallen roads. I'm only five foot two, so I think it's a good thing that I'm short because I'm closer to the floor, so I'm less likely to like genuinely injure myself. But I constantly bump myself, fall on the floor, drop things, spill things. It's absolutely shocking, guys. Number eight is I love 90s music, okay? I absolutely adore the 90s. 90s music was so happy and bouncy and bubbly and fun. I adore it, I still love it now. When I go on road trips with my friends, it's always 90s music across the board. When I hang out with my sister, it's 90s music. There's also clubs in London which just have 90s music, which is just freaking amazing. What could you ask for in life? Number nine, I used to be a vegetarian and I was a vegetarian for five years. Um, I have this thing that if I get something stuck in my head, I wanna do it, and it was one of those things. So I decided to do it. Then I forgot I was doing it, and then I realized it had been five years. And then I really missed chicken, so I stopped being a vegetarian. But I think it was good for me. I think it's good to try new things every now and again. And five years, I think, is like a sufficient amount of time to try something. I got so used to doing it that five years literally flew by, and then I was like, wow, I've been vegetarian for five, five years is a long time. I'm really impressed myself. 10 is that I have a massive hidden talent that no one on YouTube knows about, and I am gonna share it with you guys. And I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking, why did she tell us before? How does she keep this so secret? My God, she's so talented. Are you ready to hear this? Are you prepared? Prepare your ears. My talent is catching things. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is that really an actual talent? It turns out it is. It's a huge talent and I've got it. And I feel sorry if you guys do not have my talent too. She's really good at catching things. Catching is my only talent um, and I have no others. So I am gripping onto this. I can also catch things in my mouth real easy. I'm gonna prove this to you guys. This is just this normal almond. I'm telling you guys, you've gotta believe me. Honestly, I'm so good at catching. Hands, mouths, anything. You see? Again. What can I tell you? I know this is a big talent to take in, guys, so I'll let you take a minute to just think about all the jobs I could get with this talent. <laughs> and I know people are gonna be like scouting me out now because they'll be like, hey, who's Alice the Bee? And I'll be like, oh, she's that girl that can catch real amazingly with hands and mouths. I can't even tell you how I do that. It's just like I'm at one with the food, you know? And it's not just almonds. No, no, no. Maltesers, M&Ms, small grapes. Bring it on guys. If you want to just see a video of me catching stuff in my mouth, I'll do it. You see? Even chocolate. Oh, I just got them all over my bed. Come on. This serves me right for showing off. Never show off with your talent. Thanks so much for watching this guys. I really hope you've got to know me a little bit more. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And also click the little bell button next to the subscribe button to get notifications of when my videos come out. And I'll see you all next Sunday morning. Bye!